Space. The last remnants of the unexplored. A never-ending expanse of darkness. Here, at the edge of the universe, I look into the abyss and- Batman! I look into the abyss. Bruce. Seriously? Is that a new spacesuit? Your suit looks really good, is all I'm saying. One hero to another? It's really working for you. Sorry? Right. Brooding. Carry on. I look into the abyss. No, he's right. <sighs> it really compliments your figure. Uh-huh. Meh. Should have stuck with black. Or maybe a really dark gray. <laughs> Take the check, please. We never get a break. Calling all Justice League members. Mayday. Sorry, the waiter took a while to bring the check. Joker, shut, shut up. up. Peggy 7. Here, at the edge of the universe, I look into the abyss and- Batman! Is that a new spacesuit? Well, we're back. I'm back, most importantly. And this time we've got all of your favorite Justice League superheroes, and we're battling Brainiac and Joker. Those other guys I can't stand. Hello, 
Hello, Martian Manhunter! In Lego Batman 2, uh, we kind of got to see um, some of your favorite DC superheroes join forces in Gotham to try and upset Lex Luthor and Joker. And now you get to see your favorite heroes and villains get together again, but this time on a much larger scale. We leave Gotham and we even leave the boundaries of Earth. Whoa. I think Superman finds fighting crime in intergalactic territory not that big of a deal. The man has superpowers, he can fly, he's got super hair. I'll tell you what makes a great hero. Toys. The money helps. I'm going to take him down old school! I am back. Any chance to play the Joker is, uh, is a wonderful experience. Joker's like a 4th of July fireworks display. He's there, you can see everything that's going on. Lex kind of smolders. Lex keeps a lot of it inside. So in that sense, Lex and Joker are a really great team. It's interesting because Lego Batman is so different than just the normal Batman franchise. It still has the same characters at the core, but they're kind of exaggerated, and maybe the things that make them quirky are brought out more. Any defining characteristics that, that you know about how, you know, he kind of wisecracks, all of that, all of that gets turned up. You know, we kind of teased fans in the last game that there was the broader DC universe as part of Lego Batman, and we introduced some of the Justice League characters for the first time into the universe. And we really wanted to take that to the next level. So we have a huge cast of DC characters in this game and a huge cast of voiceover actors to bring them to life, such as Fred Tatashore, Chris Smith, Josh Keaton, Mark Warden, Travis Willingham, Laura Bailey, Charlie Schlaughter, Troy Baker, Dee Bradley Baker, Clancy Brown, Roger Craig Smith, and Adam West. They really are some of the most despicable individuals I've ever had the pleasure of working with. These guys are highly accomplished and they're great improvisers. And so we'll just spark ideas off each other and it becomes really collaborative that way. Each one of the voice performers that you have in this, they are top tier voice actors. It really is a full performance that you're getting from this. It's not just fun. It's interesting and it's as good a voice performance as you're going to get. I've always felt that I've been very fortunate. How many actors get a chance to create an iconic character that goes on and on for Pete's sakes? And for me to have been part of this, it's rewarding. It's challenging and it's fun. Lego is all about being fun. And what LEGO does, especially with these franchises, you get a chance to look at something that's very familiar, something that you know inside and out, and look at it in a completely different way and have fun with it. Peggy 7. Hi, I'm Stephen Amell, and I'm voicing Green Arrow in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Knowing the Arrow universe, I think that it will be fun to see Green Arrow go to outer space. We started off by going, right, we've got this great video cast, but who else could we include? So that got us thinking about characters like Stephen Amell. <laughs> oh! Oh! Huh. And we ended up including people like Kevin Smith, because he's kind of like massive into his comic books. When I was asked to be involved in the game, they said, do you want to know what it's about? And I said, is it Lego? They said, yeah. Is it Batman's in it? They said, yeah. I said, do I have to act? They said, you have to play you. I said, I'm in. I'll do anything you want, including dirty stuff. They said, it's a family game. That wouldn't be needed. Play yourself? That's interesting. Let me think about that. Hmm. No. OK, everyone ready? A character like Kevin Smith will we'll give him abilities that match his real life personality. So for example, he'll use a loudspeaker to shout at people and stun opponents. All right, Snowball, let's make you a star. <laughs> I love it. My role in the game is to play Conan O'Brien, help people out who are having trouble, maybe need some guidance. Here's the Slideways Teleporter. Next stop, Batcave. Which is hilarious, because I'm terrible at video games. In real life, I know nothing. So with the inclusion of uh, Conan O'Brien when we were creating as a character, he's incredibly tall. So we had the idea that we, we still need to create within the minifigure guidelines, um, but we wanted to give him a massive hairpiece. I was quite pleased with my Lego figure. The head to body ratio, massive head, and uh, skinny body. I took this part because my son found out that I had been made this offer, and he said, you're doing this. I'm a long time DC Comics fan. My favorite character on the planet has to be Batman. 
So naturally, being involved in a Batman Lego game is a dream come true. He is one of the few people in a cape and a mask that you could actually go, hey, this could work. The first game that came out, like I was going nuts, because it was like, the Batcave, Robin, Nightwing, like every character. So to be able to kind of jump into that world, even if it was just like, be the voice of Man Bat or something like that, I would have done it in a heartbeat. I always think that one of the things that makes Arrow and Batman most captivating is because of the lack of, of superpowers, there's a real inherent danger and jeopardy. And I think people can relate to that. That doesn't freak you out? Bats and rats aren't so different. You're not actually a bat. I believe that I will play this game with my eight-year-old son. Then I think my son will say, Dad, please leave. You're ruining the game. You're so bad at this. Your character keeps walking into a wall. And I'll be asked to leave. Some people go for Oscars and stuff. Me, I went for like, if only I can get into a Lego game and I'm done. I've peaked at age 43. without sidekicks. When evil threatens the universe, enemies must become allies. Because the only path to defeating the undefeatable is to assemble the ultimate team. Batman, it's that same thing that happened to you. size crystal and the power of the lanterns we could restore the earth behold the engine of your destruction earthlings green lantern he's alive i know i love that he isn't dead how about a hug? <clears throat> what is going on with everybody? Long story. Get you up to speed, son. Ew, so drab. I mean, all that black. Is this a party or a waste? I, Jor-El, must try to save my son, Cal, by sending him off planet. Waller with a penitentiary status update. Code red, an intruder has entered from the east wall. I've initiated a complete lockdown. All prisoner cells have been completely sealed. Members of my squad have been tasked with identifying those responsible.
team are used to getting past the occasional locked door. I'm starting to think that Task Force X is causing more damage to this place than any potential attackers. Get out there and stop him. Oliver Queen. I've been stranded on an island with only one goal, survive. I'm not alone on this island. Survive, I must become someone else. Something green and pointy and arrowy. Bizarro. Bizarro hero. Help Superman. Superman say as reward, Bizarro get on planet. He say not helping, helping. Bizarro not understand, but hate new planet and make city to live in called Rocktropolis. Now, very, very good man want wreck Rocktropolis. So me make own league of friends. Bazzaro, Bizarra, Sizaro, and Green Zaro. <laughs> Apart we fight Dark Side. Save planet. Bizarro League backwards! <laughs> 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 